Hi everyone, I want to share with you guys something new that I received um, in the mail. I actually received it at the beginning of March. I ordered it on HSN, the Cricut Explorer. And as you guys know, I do have, you know, the Silhouette Cameo. And I can show you it is still wrapped in its original paper. has never been used. I did buy the cover for it, but I've never used it. Uh, I guess it's just personal reasons for myself, something I guess I have a love-hate relationship against it right now. So maybe I'll one day open it up and decide to use it. But I wanted to share with you guys that I did receive the Cricut Explore and it cuts great. They changed the blade, they did change the mats. So I did receive it and I have cut with it and I want to show you guys what I've done. Let me show you the layouts that I've done. I'm going to go slow. Actually, I'm going to cover you so you don't get dizzy. Um, I created these layouts. This is the Finding Nemo. As you can see, let me go back on it so you guys could see it. And I'll go into further details with you guys. But look at the thin, thin cuts that it does. I mean, it is stickled. But you could see no tears. Look at even these little holes that it did. No tears. Look at the little tiny, I don't know if you guys can see that, tiny tiny eye on this fish look at the size of the fish it's my nails lot bigger than that my thumb and it cut that tiny tiny um little hole no tears the same thing with the shark you could see there the little tiny hole and this white piece is also a piece that it cut and look at the little teeth on it all the even this baby teeth here i mean the tiny tiny it cut no tears or anything so if you guys are considering the Cricut Explorer, look at the little eyes here. Look how tiny they are. And it cut them perfect. No no tears or anything. Look at the eyes here. That's like the size of like a pen drop, you know, just a little dot. And it cut them. The same thing as this little fish. I mean, look at the size of the fish. The horse fish. And look at the little hole. Look at the little um tiny tear. I mean the tiny little eye that it cut and that is the actual paper I cut the paper and it cut it perfect just like here so guys if you're thinking of the Cricut it's it did come out great it's it looks great um, it cuts great and as you could see there's one of my layouts that I created with it and then let me take you over here and this is the actually this is the first layout that I created which was the monsters ink look at the layout and then let me show you her you you can see the size of her and look at her little eyes and that is actually the cut that it, the um, blade made look at the tiny tiny little eye and it cut that that's paper so like I said if you guys are considering it um, it's it's really a good up to now it's worked great for me and then this is actual paper that's like um it feels like suede but it's like not felt it's it's like i don't even know what to call it and it cut it perfect i put it like if it was chipboard light chipboard and it cut it perfect and then this is the other side and these are all just doors hanging here and then i cut him and he his stuff see that cut right there that through his teeth that this is all one piece and it cut that little thin piece out and I just you know as soon as I lifted up the paper the little that little piece that shows black there that line that was a white piece and that cut it out perfect so like I said if you guys are considering it it's a great machine and it does really really nice nice cuts and then let me show you this is an SVG filed file and it cut look at the little eyes it cut that circle out it cut these whiskers out it cut these holes out everything this was just a trial just to try it an svg file that i had and i downloaded and i put it in there and super super easy so again guys if you guys are considering the cricket the silhouette i mean i've never used a silhouette i have it i've not used it but the cricket explore cuts wonderful and it's really really great and then let me show you one more thing that i'll bring you over here 
I had seen this on Marissa, who is Creative Young Mama's um, video of her craft room, and I called Harbor Freight. I didn't know we had one. It's really not that close to me, but I did go and pick it up, and I did put my, I wanted it for my paints, but I did put my stickles, my liquid pearls, so those are all my stickles that I have. My cat's eyes, I put those here, I put these here, the color box, I put my inks from Tim Holtz here and then down here I put my glitters here's some more glitter that I have and then these are some bottles of glitter that I have and then down here I put these bottles that I had of this stuff so it's a really nice piece I was able to move that piece from there I put it here and then here I put this piece and it's nice because now I don't have to, you know, oh, I don't have all my stickles out or my glitters and I have it at hand. And when I, even an embellishment, I could just take it from there. So if you guys are considering getting one, it is, takes a while to build it. And it's not the sturdiest thing, but I think for what we needed for crafting, I think it's, it's good enough. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching. And I will be back with some layouts that I've done that are new. Thanks for watching. Bye.